Hello, sports world. This is Michael coming with you today with the podcast. Before I get started on this podcast, I want to thank the guys at Mobile Advances for sponsoring this podcast. And you can visit them at mobileadvances.com for all your wireless needs. So we want to thank those guys for that. Uh, today I'm going to do this podcast on who I think will win the Heisman Trophy and why. And I'm going to go ahead and say Johnny Menzel, or Johnny Football as most of us have come to know him this year, the freshman quarterback for Texas A&M. For all you that watch football, which even if you watch any sports, you've learned about who Johnny Menzel, Menzel is over the, the college football season. First of all, uh, I think he should win it. I'm going to go ahead and predict that he will win it. Um, and some of the reasons why I think he'll win it is, first of all, his record is 10-2. and two. He's 6-2 and two overall in conference, uh, which is in the SEC which is the toughest conference in college football. I think pretty much everybody agrees with that. And he did it in the West, which is the tougher side of the two, in my opinion. So he had to play the LSUs. He had to play the the Floridas and the Alabamas and stuff of that nature. Uh, You know, and he did a good job. He, uh, you know, his stats for the season, uh, we'll go ahead and and tell you that uh, he uh, completed 273 of his 400 attempts for 3,419 yards, 68% completion rate. Uh, he had 24 touchdowns to eight interceptions. Uh, his quarterback rating was a 155.9 for the season. Also, um, I do not have his running stats in front of me, uh, but he did, I believe, run for 17 or 18 rushing touchdowns this year. And like I said, not only uh, you know with his stats, but he did it in the SEC, but I think he has that wow factor also. And, and if you watch the guys in the past that have won it like this, the RG3s and the uh, Reggie Bushes, they've had that wow, wow factor, which you just they, – they you sit on the edge of your seat and you just, they make a play and you're just like, wow. Um, and I know that there – you know, a lot of people will say, well, he's a freshman and, you know, and I know that the, the Heisman voters normally don't vote for a freshman. But in my opinion, the Heisman Trophy should go to the best player in college football. And uh, I think without a shadow of a doubt, he is the best player in college football. I think, um, you know, and I think maybe they'll, they, they'll get it right and learn about their mistake with Adrian Peterson. You know, they didn't vote for Adrian Peterson when he was a, a, a freshman because that was the reason they said, you know, because he was a freshman and he would have a chance to come back and win it. And, well, we all seen what happened. He obviously has went on to have a great career in the NFL, but he tore his ACL the next year. And so he never got to win it. So, You know, and I think, like I said, it should go to the best player in college football. I don't care if he's a freshman, a sophomore, a junior, or a senior. I don't care if his team has three or four losses. I think if he's the best player, he should win it. And Menzel, in my opinion, is the best player in college football. Uh, And plus, they have a good good record overall, which I think will help also 10-2 and because I do know that the Heisman Trust look at it that a little bit also. I think really it's a two-man race. I know some people will say it may be a three-man race. The linebacker from Notre Dame, you know, he's a very good player, a very good defensive player, but I just don't know that he's done enough. Uh, And I know a lot of times defensive players don't get looked at um, and win it because they play strictly defense. I know you'll say, well, Charles Woodson won it, and he did, but Charles Woodson also returned punts, kicks, and played a little bit of receiver when he won it. So I think it comes down to Menzel and Klein. I think uh, both of them are very valuable to their team. Uh, I think both teams uh, need their quarterback to do, um, you know, good and have uh, to have the success success they've had this year. And they both done a good job. But I think Menzel is is a little bit better. And plus, I think in the prime time game, like I said, against Alabama in the biggest game of the year for Ala, uh, excuse me, A and M against Alabama, Menzel goes down there and just does a terrific job. And everybody was watching that game, and I think that that game, he was sort of kind of maybe already a maybe a dark horse, but that that catapulted him to uh, if not the top, uh, at least to to second. And then of course he comes back and has an outstanding game, you know, against Missouri, um, you know, in the last game where he he threw for 372 yards, three touchdowns and one interception, uh, and he had five touchdowns in that game because he ran for two more. You know, and Klein in his big game at Baylor uh, in a prime time, which I know he's had a few this year and he done real good. I think in that one he just didn't play as good. The team didn't play good overall, but he didn't play as good. And I think that hurt him. And in Zell's big game, you know, he uh, he really shined against Alabama. And, and like I said, I think that game propelled him at least to second. And I think, uh, 
you know, with Klein struggling a little bit, a little bit against Baylor, Menzel was able to pass him. But I think it'll come down to those two. But I think Menzel will win it, and I think uh, he should win it. That's my opinion. Um, you know, we, uh, if you agree or disagree, you know, just leave us a, a response uh, and tell me why. Uh, you know, you agree or don't agree, or if you think there's somebody else I missed that maybe you feel should be in it, uh, you know, let me know. So uh, we appreciate it. Um, you know, and you can uh, also follow us on Twitter at Sports Broadcast or at Facebook.com slash Sports Broadcast. Till next time, live hard, play hard. God bless.